Tonight's Focus on Health is brought to you by Lowry Ophthalmology. The promise to love, honor, and cherish, a vow that sadly is not always kept. For thousands of women and even some men, that happily ever after image is shattered by violence. And the scars left behind by domestic abuse can slow the entire healing process. Tonight, we begin a two-part series on domestic abuse and how one woman is donating her healing touch to help victims get on with their lives. Shut up! Be quiet, be quiet. Every 15 seconds, a woman is battered in this country. Those who find the strength to get out of the abusive situation are left with horrifying memories that haunt them for a lifetime. There was a point in my life where I actually feared for my life and my children's life. Nine of Fog is a survivor. After three and a half years of being beaten emotionally and physically, she got out. But she still struggles to become the person she was before the abuse began. A lot of times the, the uh, emotional scars, mental emotional scars aren't seen. And usually you can suppress those, but what about the uh, scars that you can't su suppress, such as the physical scars, the, those ones that are visible? Broken bones, cigarette burns, knife and gunshot wounds. Deborah Robinson has seen it all. She's a counselor and educator at Interact, a haven for battered women. She says this fear is a constant reminder of the nightmare the victims are trying so hard to forget. When you look in the mirror, and you're seeing blackened eyes and and and, 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 and broken noses and, and broken body parts, then um, how can you think positively about yourself, much less put together a plan to move forward? When you look at someone that's battered, um, as far as the bruises, the cuts showing, the disfigurement, they're labeled a lot of times for a point. Well, to help abuse victims avoid those pointing fingers, one local doctor is donating the use of her skillful hands. Dr. Cynthia Gregg is plastic surgeon here at Duke University Medical Center. To many abuse victims, she holds the key to a new life. Normally, the cost to repair broken bones or scarred skin can run in the tens of thousands of dollars. But Dr. Gregg does it for free. She's one of several hundred plastic surgeons involved in the National Domestic Violence Project. They work in cooperation with women's shelters by helping victims erase the scars of their battered past. The women have access to professional psychological counseling, but this allows women to have access to, uh, to, to repair the physical scars of their abuse. She not only waives her fees, so does her anesthesiologist, and so does Duke Medical Center, putting corrective surgery within reach for most anyone. I'm very aware of the serious threat of domestic violence to our society. And as a professional, uh, it also allows me to see the impact of what I do on the lives of an individual. What she sees is not only a physical reawakening, but a boost in self-esteem and confidence that helps the victims get on with their lives. Now, here are a couple of numbers for anyone out there who needs help. First of all, if you need to get out of a violent situation, here's the number at Interact. It's 919-828-7740. And for more information on the National Domestic Violence Project, you can call 1-800-842-4546. Now, tomorrow night you have more for us on this project. What do you think? That's right, Bob. Tomorrow night we'll find out more about who qualifies for the program and we'll also...